up everybody and welcome back to Long Farm. So where I left you guys off last, I was in the garage talking about the weights, the uh, brackets and new weights that I got. So since then, I was getting ready to paint these things. I uh, took a brush and I, just a garden hose, sprayed them down good, got all the dirt and dust and grease whatever off of them that's kind of my prep and then sanded them all down both brackets and both both weights with um just a little tool shop orbital sander with like 80 grit sandpaper i don't know i had it left over from i tried sanding down chrome running boards on my pickup so I tried sanding those down to, to paint. So that's what I bought that for, it was really cheap. I got this thing for like, like I don't know, not even 20 bucks, maybe $20 with tax. So for something that I don't use a whole lot, not a bad little buy. Um, otherwise, all my other tools, I like to try and buy a little higher quality stuff, but. So sanding them down with that, just went over them, sanding them down real good. Then after doing that, I washed them off again and dried them off with a microfiber towel, trying to get all the dust, everything off of them. And again, these are just weights and I'm not an expert painter. This is a garage paint job, but I want to make it look decent. So did all that and I went and bought just this Rust-Oleum Universal Primer. Thought it might be okay. I didn't use Rusty. There's a Rusty Metal Primer that I've heard good things about, but that goes on like brown, like the rust color. And I don't know, I didn't really want to try. I didn't know if the green paint was going to go over it that good. So I just decided to go with just this. It says it stops rust, so I don't know. Hopefully it'll work, make it paint look good. And then I just got egg green, turf green paint, John Deere green from the dealer. I was there today buying parts for the baler. So got everything to get that back together, but back to the paint. They have an old, old style John Deere green too, but the uh, gentleman that I deal with there recommended to use this. And I painted this chair. No, I didn't. I got the chair like this. But, so I got one primed, primed both sides, and then painted it. So I just sat it on the saw horses there. And it's getting pretty dry and it's ready to be flipped over and get the underside painted. If I was, when I do the next one, I'll probably paint the underside green first and then flip it to paint it. I don't think it'll be too big of a deal, but just to, just to really try not to get any marks on here from sitting on the saw horses, but if it if I let it dry good, shouldn't be shouldn't be a, any big deal. But so there it is. I'll paint it up, and I must say I am pretty happy with it. I think it looks sharp. It's nice and green. It's gonna look good on the tractor. There's the uh, other one that has yet to be painted. I just sat it here to get a side by side comparison of the two. But yeah, very happy with the paint job. This will be a process over a few days time, but I wanted to make a video right now showing the uh, near finished product. Just have the underneath. Still got the, you can see the white, or there the white primer. But yeah, and I got to use these awesome saw horses that I made. But anyway, I think it looks good. Excited about it, excited to get it on. Pretty soon we're gonna, well, very soon we're gonna tackle the uh, baler repair. So, getting ready for that. Got two new, got a new sprocket, double sprocket and a chain to go on there. But So here is the weight project coming along. And the next time you guys see these and the brackets, they should be on the tractor, so. 
Just a little update. Um, if you watch the video, just want to say thank you. I appreciate it. If you want to continue watching them and maybe think about a subscribe, that'd be great. Maybe give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, anything. I love getting feedback. It's uh, it's what makes this fun is meeting meeting people. So leave a comment, leave a like, and maybe subscribe. I'd appreciate it. But hope everybody's having a good day, and we will see you next time.